Good morning. With the ongoing war in Ukraine and other hotspots around the world, we have gotten to see a host of rather interesting new weapons. A secretive U.S. Navy submarine drone, dubbed the Manta Ray, has been discovered in full view, anchored at the Port Hunami Naval Base in California, according to recent satellite images visible on Google Maps. Developed by Northrop Grumman, the high-tech unmanned aquatic vehicle is part of a cutting-edge naval project aimed at creating a new class of underwater drones capable of executing long-duration missions without human intervention. Named after the massive winged fish, the manta ray resembles a Star Wars-like fighter and is equipped with several payload bays of various sizes to support a wide range of naval missions. Northrop Grumman says that the manta ray operates autonomously, eliminating the need for any on-site logistics. It features energy-saving capabilities that allow it to anchor to the seafloor and hibernate in a low-power state. The manta ray's modular design facilitates easy shipment in five standard shipping containers, enabling rapid expeditionary deployment and in-field assembly worldwide. Earlier this year, the Navy reported successful exercises with the drone off the coast of Southern California, which coincides with where it was spotted on Google Maps. The exercises showcased its hydrodynamic performance, including submerged operations using all the vehicle's modes of propulsion and steering, buoyancy, propellers, and control surfaces. Here is a video of the new aquatic vehicle provided by Northrop Grumman's YouTube page. The first of its kind underwater glider is here. Manary is a new type of uncrewed underwater vehicle or UUV. We successfully tested in open water for the first time. Manary is designed with cutting edge underwater glider technology that has never been applied at this scale. By incorporating numerous buoyancy engines all working together efficiently, Manary can operate for extended periods of time and travel long distances at a variety of depths. It can even anchor to the sea floor and hibernate until needed. Manta Ray will support challenging undersea missions where humans can't go. This amazing UUV is one of our first deep sea vehicles to be designed digitally from start to finish. Manta Ray is making waves in autonomy, breaking new boundaries, and mastering the deep. The article goes on to say the Navy has spent more than three months testing the submersible according to some reports. Our successful, full-scale manta ray testing validates the vehicle's readiness to advance towards real-world operations after being rapidly assembled in the field from modular subsections, said Dr. Kyle Werner, Defense Advanced Research Project Agency's program manager for the project. The Department of Defense is increasingly interested in uncrewed technologies and their battlefield applications. Defense analysts speculate that the manta ray's development is a strategic move by the Pentagon to counter advancements in underwater drone technology by other nations, particularly Russia and China. Last year, Russia's Navy announced plans to acquire 30 Poisodon drones, torpedo-shaped robotic mini-submarines that Moscow claims can reach speeds of 100 knots, China displayed a scale model of a Poisodon drone featuring a cutaway showing its internal structure at the Defense Services Asia Exhibition in Kuala Lumpur this year. With the Manta Ray Initiative, the Navy seeks to establish a hybrid fleet empowering sailors and Marines with smart machinery and the sensors or weapons they carry. My belief is we're going to continue to see this technology advance on both the battlefield and in testing, and we will be there to bring you that information as it comes out. Shalom.